Oh, weird, look at that. It thinks there's a person. It stops us right here, right there. It just slams on. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna to be testing out 2020.40.4, which brings with it a few improvements in autopilot, including speed awareness. Uh, it now should react to speed signs even better. And apparently the cornering and going through traffic lights and stop signs is a little bit smoother and better as well. So we're gonna be testing all of that out today, but today is also just a big test of autopilot. We're doing a route that we've done loads of times before, and we're gonna be checking it out again to see how well it works this time. Wow, we've got a lot of police cars going past. It'd be great to see the blue flashing lights, obviously, on the screen here. Uh, if it was able to do that soon, that'd be pretty cool. But basically, a week from today, full self-drive with no interventions, which means you shouldn't have to touch the steering wheel, the pedals, or anything at all, is coming out in beta next week. That's right, next Tuesday, a select few possibly me, it's probably not gonna be me, but hopefully me, uh, will get the full self-drive beta and uh, they can try all the new features, which Elon has been raving about, basically saying that he's got it, he's had it since Alpha, and it is world apart from this one. And it has to be worlds apart, because this is nowhere near full uh, interventionless driving, full autonomous driving, it's nowhere near that. It's getting close, um, but for him to say that the next one has no interventions at all is a huge, huge jump forward. Fingers crossed uh, he is right, and fingers crossed it comes over to the UK very, very soon. So like I've said, we've done this test uh, on this road for years, uh, literally three or four years. I've got loads of different software versions driving down here, and I'm intrigued to see how well it does today on this setting. Uh, so I've currently got it set back to three, no, four cars. Uh, so four car lengths behind the car in front, and we're just gonna let the car cruise all the way on its own. So obviously whenever this is blue, means the car is in full control of absolutely everything. My hand is only on the wheel for legal reasons and the car is doing it. It has done this many times now, completed, no problems at all. So I'm hoping to get that again today. However, there is one area with the new stopping for traffic lights update that was very, very buggy. And we're gonna see again if it's buggy today. It was actually dangerously buggy. But so far on this drive, as you can see, following the car in front nicely, no problems at all. I want to apologize as well uh, for not uploading as much as I said I would do. I've uh, had loads of issues with my camera and other issues as well, uh, but hopefully this is a brand new GoPro. So hopefully this GoPro looks great and it doesn't overheat and corrupt all my footage and die on me again. But yeah, Tesla driver coming back again every other day, new uploads. And if we get this beta, oh my God, it's gonna be awesome. The updates, the videos are gonna be great. So you can see here, it's picking up some of the poles as cones, uh, but it's not actually showing all of these on the screen. It did pick up a, a diamond apparently on the road, but there's definitely no diamonds on the road. Uh, does it pick up the bus stop there? No, it didn't say stop on the floor over there for the bus stop. But we're actually quite fortunate because we're driving fairly slowly here behind some other cars. Uh, so it's keeping a nice easy drive. But to be honest, this is most of the driving that I do. It's in traffic, it's slower than the speed limit. Okay, here we go. Let's see how quickly it picks up these signs then ahead of us. And there we go, displays them really quickly, straight through, brings it down to 50. That's absolutely brilliant. We're coming up to now our first traffic lights and we're gonna see how well it does them. Whether it, I don't know if it passes through yet. I didn't see anything saying that in the UK, no, no, it's definitely gonna stop. So, uh, so I use my traffic, uh, use my stalk. It's asked me to use it again, so I've used it again there. That's twice that I've now said that uh, we can we can go through these lights. I'm hoping that it remembers it and goes through for us. Yeah, no problems it looks like. And straight on through, that was really good. Sometimes it has veered left here a little bit. Will it do it this time? No, it's tucked over a little bit better there. That was quite, quite good as well. Picked up that 50 sign. And here, these are our national uh, speed limit signs. And these basically mean on a, on a, uh, a road like this, a two-way road is 60. And again, you can see it's picking it up nicely there and putting it in. So coming up ahead is not even a junction for us. We're just gonna continue going straight on here at Derry Hill. But when you're coming from the other side of the road, the car for some reason thinks this is a junction and stops and slams on, and I'm not kidding, it really slams on, but only when you're on the other side of the road. And I just don't know why. And I'm hoping in this update, it's fixed that and that won't be happening. So here we go, coming into a 40 here, you can see the car's not slowing down early for it. Uh, we're only slowing down because of the car in front is slowing down for it. And now it's bringing us down to the correct speed. 
uh, no problem there going around that lorry. So yeah, basically just here, uh, it for some reason slams on and brakes very, very hard when you're coming the other way, which we'll see in a minute. Hopefully, hopefully they fixed it because it was quite alarming when it first happened. I have noticed as well some phantom braking in this update and it also has picked up some speed signs that aren't there and it's also mid, it misreads a lot of 50s as 30s. Uh, I'm not sure why, but if the if the 50 sign is slightly uh, distorted or it's slightly covered up, the car seems to think it's a, a, a 30 most of the time. So we've got a 40 in the bush there. There you go, it caught it right at the last second, so that was pretty good. And again here going through a 50 gate. Uh, didn't pick up the 40 on the right hand side of the road there. Uh, but did no oh see so that said 30 then flicked it to 50 at the last second uh, that's what i'm talking about sometimes the 50s are picked up as 30s there's lots of 50s as well uh, as you can see there you go did pick up that one right at the end there you can see the cone inside as well so yeah i mean it's done this absolutely flawlessly i've not had to do anything but if i didn't have someone in front of us we obviously would have sped through that 40 for a little bit so it, it still needs to slow down before it actually gets to a, a, a speed gate slowing us down slightly there I guess for the lorry on the left uh, just slowed us down a little bit so we're gonna do a full u-turn on this roundabout and I'm gonna show you that error or that buggy bit that I was talking about and hopefully it's been fixed but I'm not 100% sure if uh, this update will have done that so again, restricting us to 30, not sure why. It's not a 30 here. Now it's back up to 50. Kind of strange, as you can see. And then as we come up to this, it does slow us down quite nicely for it now, which is pretty good. We've got a cyclist in front of us. So again, this is quite good. Oh, weird, look at that. It thinks there's a person. Did you see that? It actually put that car as a person walking, uh, which was really strange to see. Wow, that BMW is going for it. Okay, and we're slowing down behind the cyclist really nicely. And as you can see, no real big problems here. It sits behind him and we definitely can't overtake yet. So it won't overtake obviously the cyclist by itself, which is a shame. Uh, so we're gonna have to take over and do that ourselves. Uh, but I'm intrigued to see how much space the car gives cyclists and stuff like that. Because uh, as you saw, normal drivers like the BMW ahead of us uh, really don't give any space. Braking quite hard here. Okay, there we go. Uh, don't give much space. So I'm intrigued to see how much space Autopilot actually does give. Again here, we're speeding up into this 40 gate, which I really don't want to do. I want the car to be slowing down to 40 about now, so I'm going to bring it down myself. And then this is the area I was talking about. This is where the bug seems to be. And the problem with it is that it's, it's, it's not a junction, it's not a traffic light, it's nothing if you're just driving straight on. But for some reason, this, this thinks it is. You're about, you're about to see what I mean, so hopefully. So it's as we come around this corner, it starts to warn you. And I only noticed it because of the pinging noise. Um, where And then it started slowing down. And then I said, oh, okay, like accelerate through it. Is it gonna, yeah, look, here you go, stopping for traffic control. There is no traffic control. And look at it, it's slowing us right down. And if I don't stalk that, it stops us. So I've obviously had to say go. It stops us right here, right there. It just slams on. Like that's that was really weird the first time it happened. Um, so yeah, that's something, again, hasn't been fixed, which is a, a shame. I was hoping that was gonna, be, gonna have been fixed, uh, but no, wasn't fixed. But that shows that at the moment, because you have to accept it to go through every single gate, uh, or, or to, sorry, every single traffic light or every single, well, every stop sign, you need, do need to stop. But for like traffic lights and giveaways and stuff, it stops no matter what. And if it gets one wrong like that, I've had it before on the motorway where it's warned me that there's traffic lights on the motorway. And I can promise you there was no traffic lights on the motorway. And if I hadn't stalked it through, it was gonna slow down and stop, but luckily it didn't. Again, I slowed it down myself before entering this 50. Coming through lights here. So you can see the car braked and then carried on. Uh, so I'll confirm that it's all good to go through. <clears throat> and now it'll just glide on through it. But you did see all the way back there, it saw the lights, which is really nice, really early, but it also reacted really, really early. It just slowed us down slightly when it saw the lights uh, and then continued to go through. But you can see how flawless this is. And this part is very, very close to, I can see the full self-drive being very, very close and, you know, almost being there. 
it's just in town and in the city. So I'm gonna show you that in a second as we go through Calm. And I'm just gonna show you some of the situations that this full self-drive beta needs to navigate that this car currently will not navigate and i am so excited to see how the car reacts to a bus pulling into a bus stop what does it do i have no idea what does it do at zebra crossings here in the uk where pedestrians always have right away will it stop for every single human it sees near the zebra crossing will it just slow down how is it going to judge all these things and the most exciting thing is we're about to find that out in hopefully a week i'm not sure who's going to get the update but in a week's time someone better be putting videos up if they get this full update but going down this road absolutely fine doing it at 50 you, you can do it at 60 but just do it at 50. whereas previously on i think 2017 my first video i actually did this bit of the road here and the car wobbled everywhere at this point because it was going downhill and kind of turning a corner the car really struggled in my model x so it's great to see now just how easily it takes the, the weird corner and just glides around it. Again here, used to have issues going up this bit. Now it's not a problem at all. I do, have, it, however, need to slow it down myself before we get to the 40 uh, because as, as before, it just, it just kind of goes through this at uh, whatever speed you had it at before, so like 50 odd. Uh, and it can't quite do this corner at 40 yet. It can do it at 35 though, which is quite impressive. I think it's quite impressive that it does that corner. So this is what I'm talking about. These are going to be the scenarios coming up that this this new update. Whoa, phantom braking there. That was a really hard little brake. Um, these are the situations the car's going to need to do. So obviously roundabouts is number one. And in the UK, this is going to be a really big one. I do know you have roundabouts in the US though. So I'm still intrigued to see how it's going to do uh, roundabouts in the US in this new update. And then again, it's gonna speed up to 40 as we go through this gate, but I'll just bring it down to 35. So here, for example, the car, if you had it on Navigate where, uh, if it's on Navigate on autopilot all around town and everything, it should be able to do every junction, every roundabout, park in every spot. Yeah, really excited to see this come through. So again, no problems on these kind of areas. What about this? So, okay, no, there's no one coming. But for example, there, just someone coming around, how is it gonna judge? I'm, I'm not sure if it can squeeze past or not. Uh, again, stopping for traffic light control, so I'll accept that. And again, here, how is it gonna get past these cars? Because at the moment, you can see that it just kind of slams on and tries to squeeze through. That Peugeot, if you actually look, has had his, um, oh, did you see that? It said stopping for, um, it was said, I think it was said it was yielding. Uh, for this roundabout here it stops for traffic control or, or yields uh, all roundabouts now but uh that peugeot back there has had its wing mirror smashed off uh by a normal car so again for a computer to do it it's, it's got to be a lot of work here we go going through some traffic lights here the car has not braked whoa see that last second there last second it decided it was going to break for those lights uh it didn't for some reason see those traffic lights but luckily luckily i saw it and i was um accelerating through it which is which is why why we didn't slam on so bad. Again, here it's gonna have to go onto the other side of the road and, and go around this car, which it really just doesn't like me doing. It's really unhappy with me doing it at the moment. And again here, it's gotta be on this roundabout, but it's got to go on the wrong lane of the roundabout to go around it because there's park, cars parked close. Oh my God, just the amount of stuff when you think about it is so much for a computer to figure out. Okay, ready for this one? So it's coming up to a double roundabout. So it needs to make sure the first roundabout is clear, but it needs to, so that lorry's going that way. It should then be able to see that. It now needs to not stop, continue flow, but go around. Oh, there's just so much for it to judge. Uh, and like I said, I'm very, very excited to see how it does it all in the future. And again here, no lines in the middle of the road. Uh, so it needs to stay obviously over to the left. And it looks like we've got a huge test coming up for it here. Oh my God, what is happening up there? It looks like we've got a removal van on the left blocking the road. So we're gonna have to go around it, but obviously cars are coming from the other side of the road. How is the car gonna judge this? I would assume the autonomous vehicle would just follow this Honda as I am and just kind of push through, but I'm not sure. Yeah, how is it? Oh, wow, so much for it to figure out. And apparently Elon says it's ready. <laughs> it's ready to go. Um, Okay, maybe it's not ready to go in the UK. Well, it's definitely not ready to go in the UK, but maybe it's ready to go in some of the cities in America. But I can't see it 
navigating this. I want to be so, I want to be shocked. I want to be jaw dropped. I want Elon to drop this to me in the UK and for it just to do all this and me to be like, hands up, Elon, you've nailed it. You've absolutely smashed it. That's what, as a, te as a Tesla stockholder as well, that's obviously what I want. But as someone who's really into autonomous driving, I just want that wow factor. Like when I just had autopilot for the first time, there was a huge wow factor about it. I want that again, but this time for it to be perfect. So that's a zebra crossing uh, as we just cross there. And that's what I mean if, uh, obviously if there's a pedestrian there, it has to stop for it. But what if the pedestrian's walking past it? Will it know that the pedestrian's walking away from the pedestrian crossing? It's, there's so much to figure out. But yeah, I want to be very pleasantly surprised when this next big update comes out. Let me know what you think in the, in the comment section it's going to happen. Let me know what you think is going to come through in this next update. Is it going to be big? Oh, there you go. So that started actually slamming on there um, because of that person was very, the corner makes it almost look like the person's on the road and the car did a phantom, well, it didn't do a phantom brake. It just slammed on thinking that it may touch that person. Again here, it's got a no to go around this, around a reversing car onto a piece of road that is only to go right, but you have to use it because people park on the left and then it's got to learn to stop and turn and oh, there is so much, so much for Autopilot to figure out and I'm so excited. The goal for this year is to post every other day, just updates on how it's going, new roads, new places, new ideas. And then by the end of the year, we want to have full self-driving or at least something really, really close to it in the UK by the end of the year. And a goal for the channel is 100 subscribe, 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can help me out, share the channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of the autopilot update in 2020.40.4. It's good, but next week it should be incredible.